My name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be another reading for our twin twin twins, Ninja. All right, so if you in any way at all identify as a DF Divine Feminine or a DM Divine Masculine, honey, then this reading is for you. All right, Ooh. we have hold your vision. All right, hold your vision. What do you want to happen? Meditate and contemplate, okay? What do you see when you're meditating? When you're thinking on your future? What do you see? Hold that vision. <laughs> it's time to release negativity. Someone's not respecting you. They don't appreciate you. They don't value you. Hmm, your twin does. That's how I'm hearing it. Hmm. Yeah. What do you need to release? Again. <laughs> I'm just doing the reading, all right? Don't let your past hold you back. I'm just doing the reading, <laughs> all right? You're very close to achieving your goal. I don't know. I'm just doing the reading. I don't want to hear shit about it. I'm just doing it. <laughs> all right? It's just that simple. All right, I'm moving some cards around. I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, Blue, how would you say these things? Da, 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 da. No, I'm just doing the reading. All right, what or who do you need to let go of? Look, 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 look. Some things, some people. We have bond. The bond between you and your twin. It grows stronger over time. Look, I feel like things and people happen. There's a lot of shifts that are going on right now. A lot of blue. There's a lot of truth being spoken, a lot of truth being shared, a lot of truth being discovered. Maybe you're learning things about this person for the first time. This person is like, let's kill everything in our way. Ooh, I don't know. Now, they may not mean literally. But listen, <laughs> basically what they're saying is nothing is going to stop them from getting what they want or having what they want with you. Okay. So yeah, we have confusion. I feel like if someone was confused, you shouldn't be. There's nothing that's going to stop this person. It says all seekers of truth experience confusion. Ask the divine to provide the answers you need. What does the divine say? Well, it's time to release negativity. Then the divine says again, what do you need to release? Then the divine says, don't let your past hold you back. So again, if someone was confused, I feel like it's time to think of everything that you admire in your partner and release negativity, whatever that may mean for you and your person. We have soul. Okay, you guys are connected at the soul level. It says your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust in the process. Okay. We have true love and we have cherish. Someone honors this connection. They cherish this relationship because they feel like this is true love. So anything that is not this, they are letting go of. They are releasing. All right. It says true love comes when you least expect it, but they recognize it for what it is. Once upon a time, they could have been confused. But with meditation and contemplation, they have realized and have come to accept you are their true love. And it's just that simple. We have the divine will help you recognize signs and miracles. They feel like this love is a blessing. This love is a true miracle. All right, they have deep, deep feelings and emotions for you. The moon is stayed behind from a different deck. They have true, sincere, deep feelings for you. They don't fade. This person is very much so focused on you. Okay, they want you to know they still have this vision. They still see themselves with you. Oh, we have denial. Again, once upon a time, they could have tried to deny this obsession. They didn't want to become obsessive. Maybe that's how they started to feel. And they were like, oh, that's toxic. You know, me obsessing over this person like this is bad. The way I love them is bad. It's very strong. It's very powerful. It just continues to grow. It doesn't go away. You know, they could have tried to walk away from you, cut you off in a very harsh way. It didn't work. They continue to feel drawn back to you. They cannot explain why they cannot resist you, but they cannot. Um, so now they're just compromising and they're agreeing and they're being mutable and agreeable because they're like, listen, I tried to deny this, I tried to fight it, and I can't. I can't, you know, I cannot. So yeah, we have escapade, vacation, hideaway, adventure. We have alien, telepathic dreams, and songs, okay? Yeah. 
you don't need no me time that's you and me time all right so when this person is by themselves that's the time that they give to you it's the second time that i'm saying it today but you got you guys are probably going to get um this reading before the other one because the other one is longer so yeah we have the seven of swords and the ooh and the ace of swords this person is going to come to you and speak truth maybe truth that they have not spoken in the past okay so that they can bring balance back into the connection okay let us see we have the nine of swords in reverse this person is tired of suffering also they feel like something is inevitable them being with you is inevitable it's going to happen so they may as well just allow it okay we have the high priestess here yeah they feel like you know it they know it this is something you've always known that's why you hold the vision this person has been disrespected a lot wherever they're at whatever they're dealing with whoever they're dealing with somebody does not respect them and i feel like this makes it easier for them to make a decision yeah and free themselves you know this is why they're ready to agree with you and work with you because someone just does not respect them period yeah eight of swords in reverse so they're freeing themselves from a situation that is what they feel like is beneath them we have the eight of pentacles here yeah they want to be in a connection that is healthy somewhere they feel i'm going to put my time my energy my effort in and it's going to be received well it's going to grow into something like eight of pentacles is when you know that you're going to see your desired outcome seven of wands in reverse is being tired of defending yourself they feel like they can never win they're always working hard to please somebody and putting in everything that they can and it seems like it's never enough so four of pentacles in reverse they're letting go of something you know it may be unfortunate news for someone else but they want to manifest what it is they really want they want a true love they want real love all right and so with them aiming to manifest true and real love they continue to manifest and pull you in so two of wands in reverse they're understanding who the choice is what the choice is when it comes to love and they feel like that's you all right so it doesn't matter what the third party could have been whether it's work life anything could have been trying to come in between you they're not going to let anything come in between you anymore they feel like nine of cups you're their wish fulfillment and ten of cups in reverse if they're not with you they feel like it's not going to work yeah ten of pentacles in reverse if they're if they're doing anything other than being with you it's not going to work ten of cups ten of pentacles in reverse because it's not their heart's desires if they were to go and be where their heart's desire is then yes, they get the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This is what they feel. They feel like, well, a fortune in reverse. If spirit is not in favor of whatever that is working. It's a karmic situation. That's why we have the karmic node, south node here. Okay, so there's a lesson that they need to learn. This eclipse is major for the twins. This is what I'm talking about. You could have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. You could have it all with your twin. Or you can continue to settle for less. That's how it keeps coming out. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles. You know what I'm saying? Even then, their independent shit is going to fall off. All because you're there standing in separation from their twin. I'm not making it up. Spirit wants this to happen. You've got the King of Cups. They're in a situation with someone they don't love. For some of them, some of them are living a passion, passionless life. Okay? So in whatever way that means, that's how it came out. So I don't really know what that means other than what it says. They're living a passionless life. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So let's see. Nine of Swords in reverse, Spirit. What is this? We have the Strength card. Yeah, they're going to be strong enough to remove themselves because they've woken up to the truth of the situation. The matter is, if they don't accept accountability for their own life, then this is what it's going to go like. And they don't want that. So Seven of Swords, now they're strategizing. If they don't strategize accordingly, though, someone may try to make it harder for them than it needs to be. So with the High Priestess here, even in the event they try to hide some of these things from you, they can't. They can't hide these things from you, which is why I feel like some of you are willing to cooperate with them and work with them because you know what they're doing. Yeah, Two of Cups, you also know that they love you. Yeah, we have Empress in Reverse. You also know that they're not... <laughs> they're not equally yoked right now look we got the emperor coming out with an empress in reverse they're not equally yoked right now you know that so you're being very patient we have the nine of wands and we have the eight of swords in reverse okay let us see what this is yeah the king of wands in reverse and the judgment card they're unequally yoked also they feel like they've been deceived in some way this person could have made them think that, you know, they were warm and loving and everything else. And now they're realizing it's not like that. Yeah, the world card, they're ready to end that situation. They're like, uh-uh, this is not it for me. You know, I done took a bite of this poisonous apple. What the hell? 
You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, you have the world card. They're ready to end that. Nobody wants to feel like they're in a situation where instead of them being happy every day, not saying every day is going to be a good day because that's just unrealistic, but you can still find something to be happy about every day. Therefore, if I'm putting in efforts, eight of wands, I shouldn't feel like I'm being beat up or beat down on seven of wands in reverse all the time. Yeah, five of swords. It's like, what the hell? Yeah, the hermit. This person may also not get to have too much time to themselves. You get what I'm saying? The person is possibly smothering. Um, we have the page of cups in reverse. Yeah, so some of them feel like if they were to make this offer to you and want to collaborate with you now and marry you now or make a commitment to you now, would you want it? But I see it being successful. They see it being successful. So they want you to hold the vision and not think about the third party because with the king of cups in reverse they don't really love the third party the three of swords in reverse it's like they've been heartbroken by this person in some way again it's something here that they had to learn nobody wants their twin to be heartbroken but it's something that they're learning through the experience of being with this person connected to family and like building a life it's something like that okay we have the nine of cups ten of cups in reverse with the ten of pentacles in reverse here we have the four of swords they just want you to know that they're coming to you as quickly as possible. So there's no need for you to be uneasy. Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. They don't want you to... Whoo, you get what I'm saying? Like, uh, Oh, man. Let's just put it to you this way. The way that they've been treated, they're assuming that you're going to treat them like that when they return. So they're praying not, but that's how they feel. They're worried. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. Slowly but surely coming towards you because maybe they don't have much to give now because of what the third party has done. So, but with the Eight of Cups, it's like they're choosing to walk away or pull away from that situation because something is missing. They feel like you are what's missing. Page of Pentacles in reverse. It doesn't matter how many times they try to start anew with this person. King of Pentacles in reverse. It just doesn't work. And then things start going south for them because it's like they're going backwards. The star card in reverse is the south node. And spirit is like, listen, you want this five of Pentacles to reverse itself. You want this five of Pentacles situation to change. Then what you have to do is you have to free yourself. You get what I'm saying? Spirit is intervening and trying to show them why things are not working it's because they're allowing themselves to be stuck to this devil energy they could be happy if they ate a cups if they emotionally withdraw if they walk away if they pull away from this situation where there's not even love there's no passion you get what i'm saying if you could be with your true love or your false love who would you be with <laughs> so that's basically what spirit is getting at here okay Nope, this is for both twins, right? Okay, so yeah, we'll leave it there. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hegri.